Hey what's up guys Shazad here and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Dark Lord Note 5 port ROM on your Galaxy Note 3 and 9W5. So this is a complete port from the Galaxy Note 5 for the Note 3 and this ROM is actually compatible with a lot of different variants of the Note 3 for example Note 3 Japan and Korean variant and also the international variant that is the N9005 and also T-Mobile and Sprint variants but just keep in mind uh, NFC is not working on the T-Mobile variant and please don't try to install this on the Indian variant that is the N900 or triple zero I guess uh, or else you will just break your device it is not compatible with the Indian variant so I am assuming that you have the uh, any of the compatible model so let's start with the installation process first of all what you need is a rooted Note 3 with a custom recovery install and just to be on a safe side make sure you take a backup of your current ROM and also take a backup of your EFS partition so hope you have all of those things all set now we have to just reboot the phone in recovery mode so you can press the volume up power and home button at the same time but I guess I have the option here to boot directly into the recovery let's boot it by the way I was using Norma's S6 port ROM for the Galaxy Note 3 uh, which I have made a video on a couple of months back uh, it became really laggy after that so I thought it's time to install or something new so I'm checking out this one so we are in the recovery mode right now uh, first thing we have to do is wipe the cage partition and do a factory data reset uh, you can skip this because uh, when you try to install this ROM it will take you to the aroma installer and there also you get the option to wipe the cage partition and do a factory data reset but I'm gonna do it anyway so I have taken the exposure of my camera down a little bit so that you can see the screen much better. So first thing I'm going to do is do the wipe cage partition, clean to install a new ROM. Yes. Once done, you can go back and hit wipe cage partition, hit yes. Once you wipe the cage partition, go back and go into advance. Sorry. Go into advance and go into wipe Dalvi cage and hit yes to wipe that. Once all of that is done, go into install zip, choose zip from SD card and here just choose the file that you have downloaded, the ROM file that you have downloaded. So here we go, here is the ROM file, let me just show you that. Uh, okay, so here we go, here's the ROM file, Dark Lord ROM and I'm using the 2.1 variant. Once you find the ROM file, just click enter and it will just check the MD5 sum. Now click on yes to install the ROM. Now as I said it will take you to the Aroma installer. So once you are in Aroma installer first thing you gotta do is select the language. So I'm gonna choose English. And here we got some information about the ROM. We got the change log. Hit yes. And hit agree. Terms and conditions. So here we can select the variant of the Note 3 that you have. And as I said it is compatible with Japan, International, Korea, and T-Mobile, Sprint, and Galaxy G. So I have the Note 3 International variant. Let me just select that. I'm going to hit next. And here you can select uh, the full system wipe. If you are coming from some different ROM, uh, it is recommended to do a full wipe. And if you are using the same ROM, you can just update it again. I am going to choose full wipe. Next. Here we got some options for full wipe and I'm going to select no. I want to keep all of my apps and settings. Heading next and here we can select the CSC file. I'm going to just keep it to default. Hit next. And we have the kernel selection here. Only the stock kernel is supported as of now. Then we can select the wiper for Android and the camera. So I'm going to keep it to Galaxy S6 camera and I don't want the festival effect next and that's pretty much it that's all we have to select now i'm gonna just hit next and it will install the rom so we are done with the installation now i'm gonna hit next and yes reboot the device next so now my device is rebooting let me just increase the exposure now perfect so guys if your device doesn't boots up just like mine what you can do is 
uh, press the wall, power button for a couple of seconds uh, until the device reboots press and hold okay so we got the vibration now the device is rebooting and it should solve the problem so here we are on the setup screen let me just quickly run through the setup so here we are up and running the dark lord rom on my galaxy note 3 it has all of the note 5 features let me just show you so you can double tap the home button to open up the camera there is pro version pro mode for the camera and uh, let's take a look at the lock screen as well so we have this note 5 style of lock screen we got this people edge and apps edge and the weirdest thing about this uh, launcher is that we got no app drawer icon so there's camera icon here I have been looking for the app drawer icon but I didn't found it yet so I think I have to install the third party launcher or something for that so yeah it feels pretty fast let me just go into the settings and show you some software information so it's running on Android 5.1.1 so yeah guys that's pretty much it for this video if you want to check out this rom i'll leave the download link in the description big shout out to the xda developer for making this possible so yeah i hope you all have enjoyed this video do hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more content like this and i will catch you all in the next one